Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jay Fan. So welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be using a free-to-play team based off of this tech hit, which is a global exclusive at the moment. He is a dual category leader, providing 170% boost for Universe 6 category, and then 150% boost for the Universe Survival Saga. He has immense damage to the enemy and a medium chance to stun the enemy with a super attack. And then for his passive, he has a lot going for him. First off, he has a 120% attack boost when performing a super attack plus an additional 80% boost when the attacked enemy is stunned, as well as type effective against the stunned enemy. He has a high chance to stun the attacked enemy for one turn. And then finally, he debuffs the attacked enemy by 20% attack and then minus defense by 80%. His link skills are experienced fighters, cold judgment, in fighter, shock your speed, tournament power, warriors of universe 6, and fierce battle. Tournament power, warriors of universe 6 are pretty decent key links, as well as fierce battle, but because we're running a free to play team, we won't be activating that anytime soon. Now, this is the team that I'm bringing Jiren as the leader because he does provide 60% boost to the universe survival saga category, which everybody is in. Uh, then we have three other stunners to help hit get the additional 80% attack boost and effective against all type enemies, which is the urine for the chance to stun the enemy for two turns with her super attack, and the medium chance to stun the attacked enemy for one turn. Then we have the hit, which provides a medium chance to stun the enemies for two turns, and then if he is the first attacker in the rotation, he has a medium chance to stun the attacked enemy for one turn. And then finally, we have Android 18, which has a two-turn stun with a medium chance uh, with her passive skill. So she does not need to super attack, unlike the other units, which has a super attack uh, stunning capabilities. Now, for the other units, we have Super Saiyan 2 Kappa. I want to see how much damage he can output in his best category, so I brought him along. And then we have Kale here, which is a support unit providing the Universe Survival Saga category 2 key and attack and defense plus 30%. We are going to go up against the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, so we do have type advantage, and we can also stun in the first three phases, but with that said, let's get straight into it. So for the rotations, I want to have probably the AGL 18 and hit in one rotation, just because they both have two-turn stun capabilities, and then for the other rotation, we'll have tech hit, and then maybe Urin or, a, or the Kaba, depending on who I am versing, so... We do have um, Android 18 up front, so hopefully she can stun the first turn. Uh, she does ha only have a medium chance, so it's only about a 30% chance of happening. Uh, but let's hope our luck is with us, and we have type disadvantage, which kind of sucks. I'm going to do this, keep Kappa here, and we don't actually need to um, super attack with 18, but we will anyway. Uh, Tech Jiren is actually really good. He has uh, the 50% damage reduction when you have 10 key or more. So obviously we got that already. Everybody's getting a super attack. And surprisingly how good this team is with about 260,000 HP. They have a low team cost of 145, which is pretty decent. No stun there, but uh, we didn't get super attack, so that's fine. I would have liked to stun, but hopefully we can stun with uh, whoever's in the next rotation. I'll have the AGL hit in the floater spot in a minute after the super attack. Luckily, we are reducing this damage. It's 30,000 still, but uh, better than nothing. Uh, so we'll do this. Uh, hopefully we get... We're not going to super attack, but hopefully we get the uh, one turn stun at least. And we can super attack with hit. Unfortunately, we couldn't find a hit that has, you know, 100% in the orb system. But two dupes, 20 additional, 6 critical, I believe, is what he was at. Or if not, it was 20 critical, 6 additional. If I were to recommend you a orb system buff, I would recommend you getting... Wow, we got the stun. 1.3 million attack stat. Giving him mostly additionals. Maybe like 12 additional 14 crit is a good solid uh, orb system buff. He gets a million damage right there with a stun, even though it wasn't needed there. And now we're on to the Int Vegeta. Yeah, 20 critical 6 additional. This guy didn't really give him much additionals. Um... If you did give him additionals, he would ha he would be able to get the stun and then also get the extra 80% if he got the uh, additional super attack. If you didn't run that many stunners, unlike me, I have a lot of stunners. Now, let's go like this. And hopefully, he we don't die here. No super attacks, please. Oh, as I said that. <laughs> 92,000. It's not going to kill us. Yeah, we're not going to die. Wow, we tank normally hits so good but then super attacks we get demolished uh no stun there unfortunately we don't have our rotation set quite yet 
Um, but hopefully... Wow, 586,000 critical on a type disadvantage. We also have the support and Super Saiyan running for us as well. 294,000. Ooh, unfortunately we have type disadvantage. So I am going to use a Princess Snake here. Even though this team is great, we do have to heal still. And we do have two chances to stun. So we could possibly get the extra 80% boost with the uh, tech hits. So let's see what we can do here. Can we please... We also have Infighter, which is a 10% attack boost for the linked characters. No stun, unfortunately, but not taking that much damage anyway. Can we get a stun with the super attack with hits? I wouldn't mind that at all. Yes, we do. Unfortunately, since we have no type effectiveness, he only did 300,000. I still prefer maybe Jiren, but I do like this team as a fun team. Uh, because, you know, obviously you do have the, um, you do have all these stuns, which even though, you know, relying on chance is the worst thing you could possibly do, it's also the most fun thing to do. And we're going to take this type disadvantage, but at the end, hopefully we get the stun though. Bam, no stun. Oh, we do get the stun, never mind. Um, with <laughs> hits uh, previous super attack. So we also got a two turn stun. So we have type effectiveness now and So we can finish off this phase here With hits for sure. No doubt And it's good because he has type disadvantage We can show off how good the type effectiveness is through his passive. Unfortunately, it's not always guaranteed another stun We are stunning left right and center I do love his super attack animation. It looks pretty dope. And then the close-up with the fist. 1.3 million. Even though he has 20 critical, he has not criticaled once. But we are, you know, as long as he gets um, the type effective, over a million damage. And we'll do this. Hit, unfortunately, with this team at the moment, how I set it up, Hit is not going to get anything in terms of super attacks because... <laughs> he can't link with the 18 and he needs to be in the first rotation to actually get or the first spot to get the stun All right, here we go. We got to lower the attack at least and maybe a stun. Yes, we got the two turn stun That's the most important thing is getting the two turn stun. So we get the 80% boost and With that I am going to go like this and We can super attack with both hit and Kappa. Hopefully hits gets the critical and if not, and if we don't finish him off, hopefully Kaba gets the critical and finishes him off for well, this phase right here. Unfortunately, well, another stun. We won't be able to stun next phase. Uh, that's just Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta's, you know, Doken events. Here we go. Can we get a crit? No, 1.3 million or 1.1 million. Let's see what Kaba can do. TUR, the only TUR on this team other than hits. 337,000. I'm going to just go Sasha. I want to see if we can get the stuns in without losing too much HP for the next turn. And if we can avoid a Doka mode and get the stun, we can probably um, get the Doka mode with hit, 200% attack boost, all that good stuff, as long as we don't get any additional super attacks against this guy. Or at least get a stun, please. No stuns, unfortunately, so we have to rely on Urine to just normal attack for us. I hope she can do that, yes. Alright, Urine needs to normal attack to get the stun, and then we get tech hits full passive going. Let's hope it works. Okay, I don't mind, you know, we have type advantage. 47,000. Oh, no stuns, unfortunately, so we're just going to see... 120% uh, boost. At least we do have type advantage. Hopefully we get the critical though. Bam, 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 bam. I was hoping for the stun. If we got the stun, that would have been awesome. Alright, let's see what hit can do. Come on, please crit. We haven't seen any crits from you. Shemak, yes, 2 million critical. That's what I like to see. Although, a little bit underwhelming. I guess that's just due to because of Vegeta's, you know, uh, damage reduction. All right, we can't stun here, so I'm going to move the rotations around to best suit this event and beat it, of course. And we'll do this. We probably won't die here. 
And we obviously we can't stun, but we're lowering the attack as well. 7,000 for the tank. Can we please get a crit? Nope, 260,000. We are taking a super attack. We have, we are tanking, so that's fine with me. All right, easy peasy. And we are going to lower the attack somewhat. So normal hits probably won't do as much as they would have done. And we can't stun unless we have the additional super. Actually, we can't even stun in general. What am I thinking? All right, so we can do this lower the defense we'll do that and then we'll do that and then we will heal up this for safety but had uh jiren at the end then it would be then we wouldn't have to use an item now i'm still doing this because oh, actually we can't debuff a eh? all right 161,000. all right 1.3 million attacks that i guess that's due to the boost of kale Bam. 1 million critical. I'll take that. And then we got KO to lower... Actually, we can't lower defense. We can't debuff him or stun him or anything like that. Two techs here. Go like this. Yes. Beautiful. Ooh, no super attack. Now that's something to worry about. Because I can't get the 10 key. Um... I guess I'll go like this. We'll do that. Uh, can I get five key? Probably these purples that drop. Nope. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll do that. All right. Hopefully we grabbed enough orbs to defend with 18. Don't super attack me. 25k. And then we're safe here. Which is good. Got a nice dodge with Jiren. Yes, we're tanking the super attack. Thank God. How much will we do? 26,000. Just like a normal hit. No additionals from Kava. This is quite... Which is quite interesting. Yeah, we're definitely doing this. And then we shall... Do this so we can tank. And we'll go like that. Come on, let's get another crit. This is where the... So, I will say this. Tech hit is not good on Doken events. Well, the later Doken events. He's mostly good for, like, um, uh, Battlefield and the Super Battle Road. Which there is no category for uh, Universe Survival Saga or the... Uh, universe 6, unfortunately, at the moment. But there is, um, you know, Super AGL. Wow, we got a clutch dodge there. I was thinking we are going to be dead. <laughs> we're going to uh, Ghost Usher here. Slowly taking him down. Maybe not the best to showcase on this stage. Because actually, Blue Vegit is pretty tanky. I won't lie. Especially since we can't stun here, so we can't really uh, <laughs> see the full effectiveness of this event, of this team. Alright. And then we should be able to finish off in this turn, as long as we get a super attack. Perfect. And we'll go like that. The only way we would lose is probably a super attack, but... Yeah, the likeliness of that happening... And bam, 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 bam. Time skip. Boom. 767,000. He definitely downgraded at the end there. But there we go, guys. So that is, I guess, the closest thing for me to using hits. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. This team was full of stunners. <laughs> Very risky team. But hopefully, you still enjoyed no less. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video around. But as always, thank you guys for watching. It's been Jay Fanta, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay fizzy. Peace out.